I'm Courtney. Yo, it's your lad, RJ. I'm Jasmine. I'm Jennifer. I'm Joshua. I'm Victoria, and... We, we are, are the OGs! OGs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. what made you want to be a part of Courtney's Corner? Well, I'm not going to start first, guys. <laughs> so, so. Um, yeah, I think I got this from me before. The reason I wanted to be part of Courtney's Corner, if y'all remember, is to build. Um, I love the family that we have been building. I love the work that we've been building. Um, just the movement, the momentum, the idea of linking up with like-minded people and building. Um, I just love it. I'm fascinated with it. And I'm glad and happy to be a part of it. So that's why I did it. Um, the funny part is, I remember the original, original Courtney's Corner when he started like <laughs> 10 years ago. And so I didn't, I didn't think he was ever going to bring it back. But when it started coming out that he was going to bring it back, I'm like, oh, cool. And then when he was looking for people, I hit him up because Courtney and I actually went to high school together. So I'm like, yo, so this is what you're doing. Okay, I need to be a part of it. And it's probably one of the best decisions. <laughs> um, I ran across the post on um, Craigslist. And as an artist, I was like, this is a great opportunity for a platform. And I talked to Courtney and... Because I was an artist, he was like, yo, I can put you on a booking team. So I had provided this extra platform for artists that I knew. So it just became this, this great thing and, and this great family. So it's just been a great ride. For real. Uh, well, I mean, I moved to the city to create and this was an opportunity. So why not jump on it? And you're constantly creating and doing, uh, doing fun things with people. And I mean, why not? It's really fun. <laughs> I actually joined Courtney's Corner through a friend who first season was the makeup artist and I was doing behind the scenes makeup for him, videography for that, and then you know I realized while I was there during season one that the show was just definitely something else. It was something that I hadn't worked on um, and the vibe of the place, it was very like friendly, everybody wanted to support one another and everybody was trying to lift each other up and Facts. giving each other a hand to yeah. help them create in a space that was very, you know, um, what is that word called? I don't know. Bringing them together for a hug type thing. <laughs> There's a word for that. Welcoming. <laughs> uh, so it was a very welcoming environment. And um, I actually came on and did this whole process of the interviews for season two. Mm -hmm. uh, helped out a little bit in season two as well. I wasn't fully available for it, but this time I've got like my whole schedule for it. Uh, gonna be doing all their editing for them, so I'm excited gang, about gang. it. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. <laughs> What's your favorite episode from the first two seasons? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> That's looking. a good question. <laughs> that is a really good question. For me? Go ahead, you got to go. My okay. favorite episode is any episode I'm on. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, your episode oh. is funny as hell. Though. That was the, the bird Ernie. He was like, "Get that out of here!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> That's uh, I'm like, okay. Yes, I think my favorite episode had to be the woman empowerment episode. Mm. Um, <laughs> that one, especially yeah, that one in our um, season finale of season one. I think by that time. We had gotten it together. We were already kind of like exhausted. That season ran for, I want to say for almost, it felt like six months, but it was only for like two and a half months. But it was something where at the end of what we've done, you saw the collective of all the bloopers, all of the hard work and everything that we put together. And when we got to um, the Women Empowerment episode, you can definitely see the growth in what I was saying. Um, the growth in the, the guests in themselves and what they were delivering, and the artists had grown. I think that was our first artist that we had to start the season off with, and like she sang like as if she was fighting for her life. You know what I mean? And like it gave me chills. So kudos. Uh, yeah, you guys. I think my one of my favorite episodes is actually the vegan episode from season two. Also. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the exact reason you had like you did something that was outside of your comfort zone. You brought in like information. You wanted people to learn about it, even though you yourself was like, "I want ribs." Right now. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like you you opened yourself up to it, which helped kind of show what kind of show you're going for. You want to yeah. show like all different aspects to a story and not just 
your own beliefs. Instead, you want to open up a conversation, which I don't think a lot of people do anymore. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, well, mine was season uh, finale of the first um, season. And it was that because I'm all about progression and helping each other. And it was just every, having everybody come together and see the accomplishment of what we had did for that season of all our hard work. It was just so amazing. So I love that episode. And then not to mention, we had a fire cipher. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I love that episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite episode my favorite episode changes um, all the time I did love the season finale of season one um, that was just a culmination of like all our hard work like they said and it was like finally getting the, it was starting to set in that what we were doing what journey we were on and like that it was coming to an end everybody came together we had some guests come back and everything. it was just a lot of love and it was just like we did it we survived after you know everything that happened um, season two, but actually, it was another episode that's a sleeper that you remind me of. The, um, health and wellness episode. <laughs> my that, I, was, I was gonna say Yeah, that, that, that was a good one. He, he put one? it all out there. He put it all out there on the line. Watching this man do a push-up. <laughs> <laughs> and the room was already hot. The room was, a, let me, in my defense, the room was already hot. I was sweating my ass off. And then she said we were going to do <laughs> light work and oh, yeah, she the must floor was white. Because he's like, whoa, 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 we're going to do this in post, The floor right? was slippery and she told me to do a push-up. So I tried and I slipped all over the floor. I yelled cut like at least 20 different times because... so hard. It was great. And then she wanted to do like all this extra work. And then she was like... I'm no, not built for this. Yes, you see what it was He's like, we can't add oh, that in post. <laughs> like, we can't make it look like I was working. No. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, so every time I watch another episode, I get another favorite. Um, just love being a part of it. Yeah, just to piggyback up on what you said, the health and wellness episode from season one is like classic. If you have mm -hmm. not watched it, please subscribe to the channel. Go back and watch it. You're welcome. Yeah. And then season two, there are a couple of episodes that I really like. I like women's empowerment. I liked police brutality. That conversation was crazy. And then I also liked financial literacy because there were just a lot of important information that we don't necessarily get, especially being young and being millennials. Like, they don't talk to us about finances and everybody's in debt. So. Yeah. yeah. A lot of hits. A lot of hits. <laughs> a lot of ones. So, yeah. How has it been working with court? This thing. You want the joke? Oh. Nah. <laughs> 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 it's always love like that's the thing like he fully embraces you I don't want to talk nice about him in front of him but <laughs> he embraces everybody and he just has a super huge heart um, and he just extends that love in his arms to everybody you know if you're with him if you're rocking with him then you're gonna know you're gonna know how he feels about you he loves you and straightforward honest um, I love that and he has that little bit of crazy that matches mine so <laughs> we're on point we're right there my brother. Oh. <laughs> Don't cry. Yeah, he's the type of person who, who knows what he wants. He's got his vision. And if you're, you're into that vision, he welcomes you into his family. That's basically we're all family. And people come and go, but it's like, no, working with him is great. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I love the fact that he includes you. He makes you feel right. like you're a part of, it's not just his show, it's everybody's show. So I, I really love that. And then lastly, let's end it. What are your expectations for season three? Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> A bottle of champagne. Yes. Red carpet premiere. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be extra. No, I want I'm excited. I'm excited for the studio audience. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. Because that's, that's, that's just going to make the show elevate when we have people to, to be there and to react with us mm -hmm. and, and have applause for all the good we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot of good. I know I definitely, um, for myself, I just want people to see not just myself, not just me. But to see all the people behind the scenes and what they, how they progress. Like these people sitting on this couch right here started with me when we had a wrinkled gray backdrop. <laughs> and like we said before, the dirty oranges on our table. <laughs> to now progressing to, like you said, a studio audience who I get to actually vibe with. You know, 
talking to a camera is hard. You know, talking to just a camera by itself and actually trying to keep up with a personality is extremely hard. So to be able to have people that rock with me and can understand me or want to argue with me, because you know I'm here for it every single day. But I'm just, I'm, I, want, I want to be able to extend that love to everybody and make everybody feel like they're welcome on Courtney's Corner. Season three is coming! <laughs> Are you ready? Bigger and better than before. We have a live studio audience! You do not want to miss it. April 9th, the premiere of Courtney's Corner.